Hello fellow 3D enthusiast, my name is Ian, and today I wanted to share something with you that's a little bit less 3D focused. We're just going to do some video editing tricks. More specifically, we're going to be working on transitions that are really smooth, so we can transition between two different video clips and make it look like they're just one clip. And the transition we're working on here is kind of a whip pan type motion transition. So you've got two different clips that have a similar motion and you cut right in the middle of that motion and it can look like they're the exact same clip. And this is a really practical trick to know because sometimes you have two different clips and you've got some stuff that you like in both of them but they're not quite perfect. So you can cut them together and make it look like it's just one clip that's got all of the things that you like in both clips. And of course, people also use this technique for the crazy one shot kind of things they do Seems like that's a contest these days in the movies to see how long you can get a nice one-shot clip. So, this trick is definitely something you can add to your arsenal for those reasons. And without further ado, let's just, uh, let's, let's just do... No, wait, 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 we already did the logo. What else am I supposed to do? You were going for too well, long just, on the intro. Just set the, just, just roll the thing. All right, so we're going to go up to file to start with, and I'm going to go new video editing. Okay, so now we're in a really nice little space for video editing. I'm going to go Shift A and import my clips. I'm going to go Movie Clips. And these two shots here are what I'm going to use. If we import those in here, we can immediately just delete the audio because we're not going to use that. I'm hitting X to delete that. And let's just pan through our clips here real quick and see what we've got to work with. You can see in the first clip, it kind of zooms in on this broken tree branch. And then it pans really hard and stops. Let's look at the other clip. With this one, it kind of starts out with a big hard pan, and then towards the end, we've got kind of a fun little zoom in on a campfire going on. So these are two completely different clips and completely different areas, but they have some similar elements that I think we can cut together and make it look like it's just one clip. The most important part of these clips is the big pan here, where we've got lots of motion blur, and the idea is we're just going to cut right into here. So I'm going to select this second clip, and I'm going to hit K with my mouse on the left side of the clip. And that way the axis is selected when I'm done cutting and I can just hit X to delete that. Let's do that with the second clip here. We could go to about this point, I'd say, and we could just cut that here. Hit an X once again to delete the axis and let's see what we can do here. So a thing that I like to do is kind of match up elements that are similar in the shots if it's possible. And in this case, it is possible because we have the same kind of tree looking thing here in both clips. So I'm going to just match this tree up a little bit better. I'm hitting H to hide the clip on top and then Alt H to unhide that. But you can also go over to opacity and just turn down the opacity, blend between those. I think that looks pretty good there. All right, so we're here, and then it just cuts to this other completely different scene, and then we're in the different shot. Let's see how that looks played back in a bit faster speed. <laughs> that is a pretty seamless cut going on there. You can't even tell that it's cutting, which is super cool. That's what we're going for. Shut up, bird. Seriously, dude. Let's do another quick shot where it's not going to be quite this easy and it might not look quite so good. I'm going to extend the end keyframes here and then import a couple more video clips. So in this case, I got a little bit too experimental, I think, but I thought this could be a cool idea where the camera kind of rotates down into the grass and then we cut here. And then we've got another shot in a different place where it rotates up out of the grass. Now the tricky part about these two shots and trying to mix them together is you can see with the rotational motion blur there's kind of a center that it's rotating around so for this shot for example that part there is pretty much the rotational center and then for this first shot you can see everything's rotating closer to around this point here and so matching that up can be kind of tricky and it doesn't always look the best but let's just see what we can do here we cut to the second shot, and then it rotates up. Okay, 
So if we have a bit of overlap here, we can do a fade. So selecting the first clip, selecting the second clip, and then going Shift A, transition, and I like to use gamma cross. Now it will blend between the two clips, and that'll just make that transition a little bit softer. And honestly, we could do that with the first clip as well if we wanted. I think that's a pretty well hidden cut, but this one does need a bit of help. Once again, I think this was a little bit too experimental and it's not perfect, but I thought it was a fun idea. And it's a fun way to share how to blend two different clips together in Blender's video sequence editor. Okay, so I know this was a lot more focused on video editing this time. Normally I do more 3D stuff, but if you found these little visual tricks useful, and you'd like to actually learn more about the 3D side of visual effects in Blender, I've created a completely free video for you. And in that video, I just go over five different tips for integrating your CG creations into actual footage. And if that sounds interesting to you, there's a link in the description. Definitely go ahead and give that a click. But hey, I'd say we're done here. I hope you have an excellent day and cheers.